All right, this is going to be part 38, and um, we're going to go into, like, we've been making all these, like, uh, connections to cards. You have, you know, Cowboy and Joker and One-Eyed Jacks and John Wayne, King of the Cowboys. So this is where we get to see that these things are not random, not, not that you probably think they are. There's just so many of them, and it can't be random, so... So you have uh, Cowboy in Full Metal Jacket, and um, you have Joker in Full Metal Jacket. If you take a Cowboy and a Joker, you can make 21. You got One-Eyed Jacks as a card term slang for a Jack of Hearts and a Jack of Spades. It turns out Rafterman is a slang card slang term for a 2-4, deuce 4 combo, 24-42. Um, there are other syncs with this. There's a lot. There's so many of them. I'm not going to go over all of them, but um, like a needles. Yeah, let's see here. Is it aces? Let's see if I can find this here. Okay, you have aces or bullets. So we had the magic bullet from Kennedy. We have um, aces are the Rocky Mountains. We have the Rocky Mountain National Park. We have the snakes, we have the snake eyes. We have, uh, let's see here, ace king. We have a king as a cowboy. And you have cowboy. Um, you have a, a king king is also known as a king Kong. Here's king Kong. He's in uh, Dr. Strangelove. So all these slang terms for cards are hidden in his movies. And also a King Kong is uh, Elvis. So. so you go through these and you find needles from uh, the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Needles is a slang card term. You have uh, the King, the Queens, uh, the Cowboys, the Twin Towers. There's a million little sinks with cards and the names he's used in his, in his movies. So, we get, so then we go, uh, so this is a pair of jacks. one eye jacks is a pair of jacks. Billie Jean King, the tennis ace, if you take ace plus king, that's 21. Billie Jean King is a triplet. In other words, all three terms in her name are actually categories in our, they're all three th threads in our puzzle, Billie Jean and King. Jean is the Eugenes, Billie's is the Billie's, and King is the cards that we're doing now. If Stephen King, king of horror, so the, you know, a king plus a king is 20. King Kong is a pair of cowboys, it's 20, it's a pair of kings. Aces are bullets. We have uh, Jamie Lee Curtis and her pair of melons. Jamie Lee Curtis is Queen of Screams, and her mother was Queen of, I think the original Queen of Screams. I could be wrong there, but she was in Psycho. So this fits right into our crazy, psycho, nutty, fruity, batty, loony, tunes, cuckoo, ape shit, bat shit. He seemed like a perfectly normal individual crazy thread. This is crazy girl, the crazy lady. I've made lists of these before. So her mom's in Psycho, which is a Hitchcock. Hitchcock is in this puzzle. You know, he's part of in the Cox category, Hitchcock. The ceramic penis that is seen in Clockwork Orange, I, th I think part of the Kubrick's little joke is it's a Hitchcock. It, the ceramic penis, it's filled with some kind of liquid, and once you start it rocking back and forth, it hitches back and forth, and it's a Hitchcock. And uh, it's a tricky dick as well, so it's two things. We have a pair of Timberline boots Jack wears. This is a clue that we're looking... You know, we're looking at clothing, we're looking at boots, we're looking at hats, we're looking at shirts, vests, any conceivable um, channel you can imagine. Remember, a picture is worth a thousand words. So we could have as many as a thousand categories, you know. So if you think that we've uh, exhausted this puzzle, you're not even close. So we have a pair of Timberline boots, and we have Jack Nicholson and Jack Torrance. So we have a pair of Jacks, it's 20. We have John Jack Wayne, King of the Western. If we take a Jack and a King, it's 20. Rafterman is a deuce four combo in card slang, just like one eyed Jacks is a pair of Jacks. Um, it's also thing, I think, known as a captain. I'm not sure if that's. Uh, I got to check up on this. I got to find out if that's true, but I believe it's the name of the captain as well. So it's a 2 4 4 42 24 combo. So we have 24 42, and we have 12 and 21. So we have doubling which is 24, 12 to 24, 21 to 42 is doubling. And we have mirror, mirroring, so these are mirrored and these are mirrored. These are clues to 
all the mirroring and doubling that's done in the Lewis Carroll puzzle. It's his language. We have the Yankee Clipper, Joe DiMaggio, his queen, Norma Jean Baker. Uh, she's a redhead. She's the first queen of the artichoke. Let's go to some pictures here. I keep telling everybody she's the first queen of the artichoke. Here she is. Here's a, I like this fan. Somebody, some fan made this. I think a fan that knows this puzzle. <laughs> she has her. She's, mmm, I love artichokes. You probably can't read this in the video, but it says, mmm, I love artichokes. So they're drawing attention that she's, you know, the first, not just the queen of the artichoke for California. She's the first queen of the artichoke. So this is one of the first, um, I initially thought vegetables. I said, oh, it's a vegetable because you're eating the leaves of it. And it turns out it's it's kind of in a quasi state. It's not it, you're eating the flower, so it's sort of like a fruit, but you're eating the petals of the flower, so it's sort of like a vegetable. So it's kind of a, in the it's not a fruit or a vegetable. It's kind of both. And she's the first queen of the artichoke. So when you run into Albert Broccoli, is the guy that does all the Bond movies, you go, gee, I wonder if there's in a category of, of vegetables and fruits. And then, of course, you have the apple and the orange and the lime and the lemon and the um, the melon and the water. And I don't, no, no fried chicken and watermelon served in my core. You have, so we're using foods. And the allegorical puzzle um, tie-in with this is we're collecting all the alcohols and all the fruits and vegetables and the, all the foods we're going to need for our July 4th uh, Overlook Ball. And so, you know, she's the queen of the artichokes. So it sounds ridiculous when you first hear it, but this is one of the first clues you get that we're going to be using more than just whiskeys, you know, because you, you find the whiskeys pretty easily. And the other thing I want to mention, too, is he's giving us all of the threads for the Kennedy murder. And the reason he's doing that is he has to kind of give you one complete thread. He can't give you every complete thread that's in this puzzle. It would be somebody would notice it and it would just be ridiculous. So he has to pick one thing in this puzzle and give you all the constituent parts of the puzzle. And that way, when you find other threads in the puzzle, you can apply those same metrics. So if you find Queen of the Artichoke when you're doing Kennedy, when you go to the Corona uh, New Mexico puzzle, you're finding the pepper. It's the Sergeant Pepper's, uh, you know, album. It's the um, Red Hot Chili Peppers. It's the state um, vegetable. So this is one of the ways we're connecting these things together. I know it sounds ridiculous, but this is how he did it. And here's an article. She was named Queen of the Artichoke in 1948. There she is. Um, so there's Marilyn Monroe. Let's go back to the cards now. Let's go to... Um, so she has Cal she's queen of the art truck for California. So here's the Titanic ships. You have the Titanic, the Olympic, the California, and the Samson. We get the Samson from Will Samson and Cuckoo's Nest. We get it from Shelley Duvall Samson. She marries um, Mr. Samson on July 7th, which is the Anya Kubrick day. She's born on July 7th, which is the Ringo day. I've made lists of the July 7th date. It's one of the Nexus days. So this is, this is a tie-in to the day that Anya dies and Will Samson from Cuckoo's Nest. We don't have the Carpathia that's missing, but we have the California, the Olympic, and the Titanic. And we're given the Titanic through Gus Grissom's Molly Brown capsule, and Apollo 13 rounds the moon on April 15th, and they, they have to seek refuge in their lifeboat, just like the Titanic passengers who didn't have enough lifeboats. So this is our twins. This, again, we're doing twins. We have Titanic Olympic twin ships. They were nearly identical. They're switched, just like Paul and Fall. One dies and uh, replaces it. Um, another thing I wanted to mention is the ship that was supposed to rescue the Titanic was the California, and it never did. And they interviewed the captain, and he said he never saw the red rockets go up. So the signal was, as long as you don't see any red rockets, don't, don't go rescue the ship. And he said he, he just saw white rockets. So you wonder when they were switching the ships, did J.P. Morgan just remove all the white rockets from the rocket area? So, or all the red rockets? So when they fired them all, they were all just white? Who knows? But um, So you have Michael Jackson, King of Pop. So we're splitting these names with the Collins X. So if Jack, you know, he, he cut his family up neatly, and neatly stacked them. So we have a Jack and a King. This is 20. He's the, uh, the last moonwalker. He wears a single white glove, and you have the single black glove in Dr. Strangelove. 
He does, uh, yeah, he's the last moonwalker. He does Billie Jean, that's my girl. So he's drawing attention to Billie Jean. She's a triplet in this puzzle, so this is not an accident. He's talking about Billie Jean, that's my girl. He was just, this is why he didn't, you know, why he died so young. Um, we have a pair of boots made for walking. Remember, we're splitting these things, so walking is, is uh, we're splitting it. And um, so we have, these boots are made for walking. So we have a, a pair of boots and a king. So this is Nancy Sinatra, One Hit Wonder. We always have to have a tie-in to ones, you know, the, the monolith, the unisphere, one small step, one giant leap, one flew over the cuckoo's nest, TMA1, it goes on and on, I've made less. Uh, this is parodied in Austin Powers. You know, they have the girls, uh, the fembots, and he, uh, you know, we have the smoking clues in this movie as well. He lights up like 10 cigarettes and he flicks them in, the, in all the fembots and they're smoking the cigarettes. If you have, if you know this puzzle pretty well and you've gotten to this point, I would suggest the two movies you need to watch are Austin Powers and either one, either any of the Austin Powers movies. And also, uh, when Mars attacks, it's when Mars attacks is just so alchemical, and the, the language is exactly what you're, you've been seeing in this puzzle all along. So, um, you know, we have the smoking clues in it. We have the Dick's clues. He has the penis pump and Peter, and you know, the the rocket looks like a dick in balls, and you have. Um, you have the clue into breakfast places, uh, Bob's Big Boy. So you have Jimmy Dean is in uh, the Bond movies, and you have James Dean. It's another thread of uh, places to eat. Um, and we have Dean Arnold is the Arnold bread guy. And we have Jolly Green Giants in Full Metal Jacket. Jolly Green, Giant, Jolly Green Giants is a frozen vegetable company. They do the ho, ho, ho. But anyway, I'm off track here. Scatman Crothers, he's uh, black as the ace of spades. So this is the Gollywog doll. This is, um, what was the other? These are the, the crackers thread. So we're looking for a cracker expression for Scatman Crothers, who dies on November 22nd. And it's the he's black as the ace of spades. So we've got Scatman's the ace of spades. He's got the smoking gun in his, in his mouth. You know, it's literally a gun and it's smoking. And he dies on the 1122. These are one of the, the clues that I said, you know, no one could know that Scatman Crothers is going to die on 1122, 1986. And yet Kubrick knows and puts him in his puzzle and puts a smoking gun in his mouth and, you know, he does the gollywog thing. Also, another one I didn't mention in the previous video, another bizarre time travel thing is John Lennon dies after the release date of um, The Shining. So... All the clues to John Lennon's murder, the Catcher in the Rye, and the Dodge Dakota Hotel, and uh, the Crushed Beetle, and all the all the Beatles allegory and clue sets. How does he know Lennon's going to die after the movie comes out? You know, it's another bizarre. You know how he, like he has an almanac from the future. Um. <clears throat> let's see uh so you have okay so you got the ace of spades of scat man you got jack is jack kennedy the jack of spades so you got an ace of spades and a jack of spades you got black jack is his riderless horse it's 21 um kennedy takes a hit and he goes over so we got head crater this is the you know the stuff i went through before but uh, i've got more of it now so we have head crater so kennedy gets the head crater from oswald's rifle supposedly and we have bench crater so we have a bench rest we have a sharpshooter, we have sharp crater, bench crater. This is also Johnny Bench, all things Johnny. Um, we have the explosive bolt, bolts in the Apollo missions. We have the explosive bolts in 2001 A Space Odyssey. We have the single barrel whiskey and the double barrel whiskey. We have Woodstock, the Peanuts character. We have Trigger the Horse. We have Galileo's Telescope. We have the crosshairs. These are the sea hair, the muffly merkin, the um, bush baby. So these are our crosshairs, the missing crosshairs in the Apollo um, photographs. Or we find them. Here they are. They're right here. They were the same crosshairs that were in Oswald's telescope that wasn't adjusted correctly. We have Thor's hammer. We have hammer films. Um, this is the one Christopher Lee is in. 
We have the Apollo 15 hammer drop. This is very famous, hammer feather. He drops the falcon feather in the hammer to prove gravity. And he, he associates gravity with Galileo, which is weird because most people associate um, gravity with Newton and his apple. And you have Jack in the bar, and he says pounds per square per second per second, which are Newtons. You have um, the jackhammer. This is all thing Jack category. If you look at that uh, Bill Bill McNeil, um, all things ja all things Jack Nicholson picture, you'll notice in the corner there's a jackhammer. You've got Mike Hammer. This is uh, Mickey Spillane, one of the detective writers. And you have uh, Vulcan's attribute. He's one of the Greek gods, and it was his attributes of the volcano and the fire forge. And he builds all the weapons for the gods. So this is uh, Leonard Nimoy in Star Trek. We have the Mount Hood volcano. We have the Erebus volcano in our Antarctica. We have the volcanic lair in um, Austin Powers, you know. It's a, the volcano is repeating over. We have the vol volcano, the inactive volcano that's in uh, Mammoth Mountain Ski Park, which is the one of the posters that's in the games room. Mammoth Mountain is a ski park. The other one is Monarch Mountain. So they're real mountains, um, but Monarch is also a clue into the mind control programs and uh, Operation Artichoke. Um, so Vulcan's um, attributes are the volcano, fire forge, he builds all the weapons. He has a he has a hammer. He's always hammering the steel and the fires and the forge. So Vulcan is in it now. So we have a direct connection to Star Trek again. And there are more hammers. I didn't put them all here. I'll make a list of them and put them under this video. But there's enough of them where, you know, another thing I want to mention is in the beginning of the puzzle, he gives you the whiskey category. And he gives you um, some of these categories are really blatant. But at some point, he can't continue to give you these really blatant categories. He has to give you more esoteric and harder to find categories. So you find the, the Jack Daniels and the Michael Collins and the Johnny Walker and the Black Velvet and the, it goes on and on. And that's great and everything, but he's not gonna be able to do that for every category. So once you find the repeating thread pattern, you'll start to notice the more um, sublime and the, the more hidden repeating patterns. And um, this is one of them, the hammer drop, you know, the Apollo 15 hammer. This is the mission that launches on Stanley's 42nd birthday, the day I, Diane Arbus dies. It lands on the 30th, Emily Bronte's birthday. So we have the hammer category. We have a new Greek god we didn't have before, Vulcan. Um, we have Johnny Carson, Jack Carson, king of late night, Jack plus king is 20. We're playing, so these are all card... Like you find Johnny Carson, you go, oh, you're king of late night, isn't that neat? Well, there's more to it. You know, it is, it's a much, uh, there's, a, there's hidden symmetry in all of this. So Johnny Carson is the king of late night and a jackless king is 20. But Johnny Carson is also a boxer. So how this puzzle works is like when you find the person you're looking for, it'll be the one-armed, red-headed boxer with no nose. I mean, you get to the point where there's enough clues in each category that you can see that, okay, so he's the king of late night, yes, that fits. Okay, his first name is Jack, yes, that fits. Okay, now we got the card allegory, Jack and king is 20, yes, that fits. So that's how the puzzle works, and he's a boxer, and he invested heavily in DeLorean, and um, he's the king of late night. And this is, this is kind of, um, when you find this king of late night thing, here's Johnny. You could really name the entire category of everything Johnny. Here's Johnny. That, that would be the name of Here's Johnny, and it's you know the, the Jackhammer and Johnny Carson and all the Jacks that I mentioned. So it's clever. Um, Apollo 18, 19, and 20 were canceled. The dealer has to fold at 17. So this is another card game allegory. It was Apollo 11 through 17. As soon as they get to 17, they, have, they canceled 18, 19, 20. Remember, 20 is the mission that uh, was supposed to land in the, the Tycho Brahe crater, which is right where they found the Tycho Magnetic Anomaly, the um, TMA-1. So we're getting the card clues right from the Apollo missions themselves. Now, the weird thing about this is the rockets... Rocket ships and everything was already built for 18, 19, 20. They had it all built and paid for, it was sitting on, in a box, ready to go, and they canceled it anyway. Um, so we have Woody Strode. 
Woody Strode is in Spartacus. We see him with, with Neptune's trident. This is a attribute of a great god. Remember I said we're always looking for attributes of great gods, and some of them are very hidden, some of them are over, overt, but this one's, this one's pretty overt. You see the Neptune's trident. And you have the under uh, Neptune under the sea dance in Back to the Future. There's another reference to Neptune. Um, and so Woody Strode ma marries the Queen of Hawaii. Remember, we're always talking about marriages because you got the song going to a wedding in Full Metal Jacket. And you said, and Jack says, I want a little rice with that. And then you find out Wendy's born and married on the same day. She marries Will Sampson, or uh, she marries Mr. Sampson, which is the missing ship. And um, so you come to, come to a conclusion that we're talking about wedding dates. In the Minotaur myth itself, when Theseus comes back, he's supposed to marry Queen, King Minos' daughter, Adrianda, and he, he doesn't. He, he blows her off. And uh, the other thing I didn't mention in the, in the Minotaur myth is on his way back, Theseus is supposed to change the color of his flag on a ship from white to black. And in his excitement of killing the Minotaur, he forgets to change the colors of his flag. And when his father sees the ship with the wrong color flag on it, his father kills himself. So it's not a happy story. The King Minos, uh, Theseus, Minotaur myth, is you know, they're always tragedies. So his father kills himself, and he doesn't marry the princess. Um, the man he would be king. So this is one of the threads that's going through the movie Stargate. It's going through the movie... Um, Star Wars, it's in the movie The Man Who Would Be King, starring Sean Connery. It's directed by John Huston, which is Huston, we have a problem. All things John, John Huston. This is a director that I missed earlier and recently found. So John Huston is involved in this. Sean Connery is involved in The Man Who Would Be King. We see the camera that filmed The Man Who Would Be King filming the movie Star Wars. And we have the thousands clues. So there's a, there's a clue, in, and I've got to find the quote from this book. There's a clue to thousands in this book, but let's ignore that right now because I can't prove it, so I don't want to go on a hyperbole. Um, let's see. So that's kind of the cards. And then we have a new new category here. I noticed that we have bolts of fabric. We have the bolt of um, Pyle's rifle. He cleans, and he's talking to his rifle, and he's sliding the bolt back and forth, and he goes, clean, perfect. So he's talking to his rifle. He's clearly insane. Um, we have Jupiter's lightning bolts. We have the white lightning bolts that he shoots. We have white lightning, the whiskey. We have the explosive bolts in 2001, A Space Odyssey. And we have the explosive bolts in the Apollo Lem. And um, so these are just little crazy little words that, you know, you can have a bolt of fabric. You can have a, um, a bolt in a rifle. This was the rifle clue category. This thing is, what is going on here? Uh, you know, we have the hammer, we have the crosshairs, we have the uh, trigger, we have the wood stock, we have the barrel, we have the explosive bolt, we have the single barrel, double barrel, over and under, side by side. Um, so we're giving all the constituent parts of a gun, uh, you know, in the puzzle as well. And um, he, in the movie Full Metal Jacket, he's always associating the rifle with their dicks and, and their balls. You know, this is your rifle, this is your gun, this one's for fighting, this one's for fun. So that's interesting. And uh, so we have all these explosive bolts and lightning bolts and white lightning and a bolt of fabric. So the fabric threads would be the torn shirt in Star Trek. This would be the torn shirt in They Live. Roddy Piper's shirt gets torn. This would be... Uh, Danny's hand knitted Apollo sweater. This would be the lost cashmere sweater on the space station. This would be the hand knitted Indian cosmogony tapestry that Jack bounces the tennis ball off of. So these are all the weaving, the wicker chairs and the wicker hats and the, the wicker baskets that um, Picard puts on his head when he goes up on his 51,000 foot balloon trip. So we got bolts. So I'm looking at this, and I'm like, well, we have Sam Phillips. He's the guy that directs all of the Apollo missions, Samuel Phillips. Samuel Phillips is related to the Phillips family, so this would be Phillips Petroleum. And he's also related to, uh, this would go to back to barrels, like in 
in um, the thing, in the beginning of the movie, we see barrels of Chevron oil. And I said, oh, yeah, there's the Chevron. It's a clue to Chevron and the oil companies. Well, now you know that it isn't just a one-time, one-shot deal. We have barrels of oil in the thing. We have Samuel Phillips directs all the moon missions. We have Papa John Phillips. He, he runs the log cabin in Laurel Canyon. He literally is the guy that runs the log cabin in, in Laurel Canyon. And he rapes his daughter. Mackenzie Phillips comes out later and says that her dad raped her. So there was a lot of freaky stuff going on in the log cabin with uh, Papa John Phillips and the mamas and the papas. So we have a category of fathers and sons. And we have another category of fathers and daughters. So I'm... I haven't found very many yet, but I'm assuming there's a category of mothers and daughters. I mean, Christiane Kubrick, I have a feeling, is in this puzzle. I haven't really looked for her, but I'm assuming she is. You know, she does all the paintings in many of these movies, by the way. So the paintings themselves, I mean, I've showed some of the, the artwork from the Kubricks, and, you know, the, the alchemy is just exploding off the, off the canvas. So we get the mamas and the papas. This is Papa John Phillips. He runs a log cabin, and he's the mamas and the papas. So in our puzzle, we have fathers and sons. We have fathers and daughters. Um, we ha I'm assuming we have mothers and and uh, fathers. So he runs a log cabin. This is uh, you know, this what the old times old timers call cabin fever. We see the logs cut with an axe in front of the fireplace at weird angles. So we had the Phillips head screw, you know, that's a, you could say it's a bolt, it's a screw, it's a Phillips head, right? Papa John Phillips, Mamas and the Papas, log cabin. And then you have the Allen head, so you could have the Van Allen head screw. And then, of course, the, the clincher is the flat head screw. So, you know, that's interesting. So this kind of ends it, I mean, I'm just jumping around, showing you the different combinations of card clues. Jack Bliss King is 20. You know, Billie Jean King, Tennis Ace is 21. So the reason that he's doing this stuff is to prove to you that it's A, it's not random, and B, we're making pairs, we're making three of a kind, we're making a full house, we're making flushes, we're, um, we're playing cards. So this is one of the games that's in the puzzle. We have cards, we have the ping pong, which you already know ping pong. Ping pong is... Roman ping pong is birthday, death day. So all these weird death day, you know, Scatman dies on November 22nd. That's Pong. Ping would be Jamie Lee Curtis. He's born on the 22nd. Ping would be Rodney Dangerfield. He's born on November 22nd. So we're pinging, we're pawning with the ping pong. We're making pairs and we're making three of a kind, flushes with the cards. Flush out your headgear, new guy. This is a slaughter. Um, we have the bicycle playing cards. Bicycle, you know, made for two is the song. The first song sung by an IBM computer. So we have a singing computer. One of uh, Paula's attributes is he's a musician. So, And that's it for 38. Um, I know you guys love the graphical pictures and stuff. The, the, the text videos don't seem to do as well. But And once again, if you like the videos, thumb them up because it, it really made a difference. People, you know, I don't know who was doing it, but they were just thumbing down the videos and it was driving me nuts. So, And that's it. Have a great day.